good evening and a warm welcome to insta live the live which happens on instagram on every tuesday at 9 pm and this month we are talking about laser hair reduction permanent laser hair reduction and we are discussing how exactly this laser hair reduction works so that you can decide if this is the right treatment for you if this is going to add a lot of value to you so i think most people especially most women have at some point of time considered going for a permanent laser hair reduction especially if you're somebody who depends on waxing threading bleaching or something like that maybe an epilator to get rid of your unwanted facial and body hair you have definitely considered if you should go try that laser hair reduction and permanently get rid of your hair especially during the pandemic when the salons were not functional even when the salons were functional there was some kind of an anxiety there still is some kind of an anxiety about visiting salons and this unwanted facial and body hair definitely was something that was annoying something that was embarrassing and a lot of people it did come to people's mind that i should go for a laser hair reduction which is a permanent treatment to get rid of unwanted facial and body hair for both men and for women so last week on instagram i did discuss how exactly this laser hair reduction works what is a diode laser what is a laser at all so the basics about the laser hair reduction were covered in last week's conversation which is on instagram it is also on my youtube channel my youtube channel is called skin sense for those of me who are listening to me for the first time my name is dr shweta anger i'm the founder and thought leader of skin sense and aesthetic clinic and skin sense the aesthetic clinic partners with ambitious proactive men and women and ensures that you have amazing skin hair and body shape at any age and the best part is we use the awesome inside out principle which means what is most important while creating awesomeness for you on the outside is making sure that you are really really getting healthier at a cellular level so that the results you get are absolutely safe absolutely amazing and extremely lost long lasting now how does it get any better than this the topic of today is facts and myths about laser hair reduction a lot of questions have come in i'm thankful to each one of you for writing in your questions to me because only when it is interactive only when you write the anxieties you write the fears you write what is the doubt in your mind which is not allowing you to take action so only when you communicate that to me is when i am able to make a significant difference by answering exactly that question yes i am aware that we all including me as human beings whenever we think of doing something new there is a doubt which comes into our mind and this doubt puts up into inaction and we all know that nothing is going to work unless we take action so we will be able to take action when we have crystal clear clarity talking about being confident what, where does the confidence come from the confidence comes from being sure sure comes from having clarity having clarity means knowing what is right what is wrong knowing what are the facts and what are the myths unfortunately today in an information overload era there are more there's more information than any of us can handle and you never know what is right and what is wrong and because of having so much of information bombarded on you by non professionals and professionals more non professionals than professionals there is always a sense of anxiety you definitely aren't very sure that this is the right thing to do that is why i personally take responsibility for telling you curated facts and myths for telling you what really works with a personal responsibility and whatever i am sharing i am sharing of course from my years of education 
medical education gives me the right to share this with you but then it's not just being sharing from the books i'm also sharing from 11 years of my experience in working with men and women of all ages of of different kinds of people, different socio-economic statuses, different aspirations from all over the world. Yes, I have worked with them and I have had challenges in working with them. Of course, when you work with different kind of people, you try to give them the solution in a way that they love the solution. There are challenges and as I saw these challenges, I had some breakthroughs. I realized better ways of doing things. I realized where people are getting stuck why people are getting into inaction and that is the reason I decided to create a whole series, a whole YouTube channel on crystal clear educational series where I ensure that every time you connect with me on any social media platform, especially the lives or the YouTube, at the end of the conversation, there will definitely be a takeaway, there will definitely be a way which enables you to take better action. Isn't that awesome? If you see value in this video or any other video of mine, I humbly request you to share it forward because I have heard a lot of people write back to me and saying that what I shared in a video was really useful to, for them. It helped them take action. It helped them save time and money both. And more important than just saving time and money, it transformed the quality of their skin, hair or body shape. So if you feel that what I am sharing with you now in the next 15 minutes is adding any value to you, is capable of adding any value to your loved ones, it will be a humble request from me to share it so that other people can also benefit from it. So people wanted to know what is the youngest age at which you can do a laser. The youngest age at which you can do a laser is two years after the person has reached puberty. So if there is somebody in your family, in your friend circle who has unwanted facial hair, maybe because of a hormonal issue or maybe because familial, you know, certain communities have a lot of facial hair and that facial hair is causing embarrassment to that little girl. Lasers are absolutely, absolutely safe. In fact, the minute she reaches puberty, after two, three times that she gets her menstrual cycles get regularized, Yes, you can go for a laser hair reduction. It's medically proven to be safe. But most doctors, including me, like to wait for 18 to 24 months after the period the girl has got her period, the girl has started menstruating so that by that time, all the hormones are stabilized. All the hair which was supposed to grow as a result of these hormonal changes has grown, has stabilized and now could be the right time to get consistent result with the lasers. So safety wise, you could do it even three months after she gets her menstrual cycle and logic wise, I would say 18 months, but do not wait too much. In fact, waiting too much could cause a lot of embarrassment. Not necessary that everybody must do it, but then if you have an upper lip hair or a chin hair or too much of side lock hair, if it is causing you embarrassment, Please do not live with that embarrassment. Teenagers can really get affected by these kind of um, you know things that affect your personality or your looks. A lot of people are teasing other people because of this. I'm not here saying it whether it's right or wrong. Yes, we got to encourage, empower them, make them stand up to bullying. All this is important. But at the same time, building their self-esteem, being a little kinder to a teenager, ensuring that if something about their looks bothers them then as an adult rather than dismissing it and saying that this doesn't really matter don't pay so much attention to it it's easier said than done when you're dealing with a teenager i think you need to understand the sensitivity of a teenager and make them comfortable does this make sense to you second is what's the oldest age that you can get a laser hair reduction done well, there is no oldest age. In fact, if you're talking about women, women can never stop wanting to look beautiful. So whatever age it occurs to you that I am fed up, I am tired of doing repeated things to remove my unwanted facial or body hair is the right time to go for a laser hair reduction. But I want to tell you here, since it's a clear facts and myth session, 
that if you have already developed graying of hair, the lasers that are commonly used, especially the diode laser, which is the most popular laser used for Indian skin types, popular, safe, effective laser, it has, it doesn't work on the gray hair at all. So if somebody has already developed gray hair, then they need to start the laser with the complete understanding that the rest of the black hair will go, but the gray hair will stay. And if there are very few gray hair, she can go for plucking or other things to remove this gray hair. Now coming to the third common question that comes to people's mind that if I do an underarm laser, my underarms are very dark. A lot of people have dark underarms. I have made an entire 30 minute series on dark underarms. I think we will have that conversation again because that conversation is worth having again. Dark underarms could be because of many, many reasons. And yes, you can easily get rid of these dark underarms. But then people ask me, if I go for a laser hair reduction, is that going to also help me get rid of my dark underarms? So the answer is a clear no. A laser hair reduction will remove the hair from the underarm area. It will make it invisible, invisible at social distance or to naked eye. So yes, you will no longer have to go for threading or waxing or any other form of hair reduction for the underarm area. You will not have to visit the salon to remove the hair from the underarm area, which means that that sensitive area is no longer undergoing friction again and again, which is a very, very good thing for you. But only going for the laser hair reduction is not going to completely eliminate the darkness of the underarm area. But do not worry, once you are done with the laser, once you are done with four sessions of the laser and now there is quite a clean surface, the hair growth has stopped significantly, that is the right time to start applying some creams, some peels, some exfoliating and moisturizing creams. So there are a lot of lightening, brightening creams which can help you in getting underarms uh, which look nice, which you can flaunt, where you no longer have to worry about it looking really dark. Yes, there are easy to use products that you can use at home and they work even if you don't get a laser done. But if you have got a laser hair reduction done, there is no more friction happening in that area and those products work really, really well. Now, the other common myth that people have is, is it painful? So yes, I did speak about this in my earlier session. So laser hair reduction is not a painful process. Lasers means the usage of light. So laser hair reduction just uses the light, light energies to hit on your skin. And because there, it hits on the melanin, it hits on the pigment in the hair, kind of you feel like a slap or a spank, which is like a sharp spank. You feel nothing more than that. The procedure in a particular area would take like 30 seconds per area and in that much time you may feel like a rubber band or a snap which is absolutely easy to wear. It doesn't have any side effects. It doesn't have any downtime. By downtime I mean you don't have to stay back for an hour or you can't go out or you can't get wet. You can do anything immediately after a laser session while the laser session is going on. In the parts which are less sensitive, it may be absolutely bearable. Some people say, in fact, there is no sensation at all. But in some areas which is slightly more sensitive, like we can talk about the underarms or the bikini area, which is a very, very common area where people get laser hair reduction done for the hygiene part of it. So these areas, yes, it can be moderately irritating, may be slightly painful. So if you're somebody who has a very low pain threshold and feel, no, I don't want to do it because it is painful. Believe me, we do so many laser hair reductions. We have thousands of clients undergoing laser hair reduction. Very, very popular treatment. No, it is not painful. Most of my clients say it's nothing. But some of my clients who are super sensitive, super, uh, you know, their pain threshold is very, very less you can apply a topical anesthetic. By a topical anesthetic, I mean something, it's called a numbing cream. You apply a cream and that cream makes your skin less sensitive and you do 
not feel the spanks of the laser. You are much more comfortable with a topical cream. So you have the option of either using a topical cream or not using a topical cream. There are both kind of people. 90% of the people do not use a topical numbing cream. Whereas 10% of the people go for it. So whatever you are comfortable with. So my mission is to make looking beautiful, fun and easy for you. Comfortable for you. I don't want to give you gyan, I want to give you solutions. I want to give you solutions that you can use, take action and be the best version of yourself. And how can you be the best version of yourself by using laser hair reduction? Because laser hair reduction saves you repetitive time. I know girls who are spending their weekends at salons waiting in a line because they say, no, yaar, I don't think I'm so sleepy, but I don't think I can afford my sleep because all this hair is looking so shabby and I have to go to the salon today and get my threading and waxing done. I hear this from my friends. I've heard this from my friends in the past. So for years, month after month, they, they're having to do this. They're having to spend time at the salon. They're having to spend money at the salon. They're sacrificing whatever else they could have been doing on a Sunday evening and spending time in the line in the salon. So laser hair reduction is going to cut that off from your life permanently. And if all these unwanted, unproductive things, you know, today time is so, so important. Probably I would spend some money to buy time. So many times, you know, we buy a business class ticket when we travel by flight. One of the reasons is we don't have to stand in the long line. So we know that saving time is something that is highly desirable today I would pay some money to save a lot of time and if you're somebody who believes that yes it makes absolute sense to pay some money to save a lot of time laser hair reduction is surely for you if you are not doing a laser hair reduction because you're afraid of something I am right here ask me your questions get rid of your fears and take an informed decision now, whether you go for a laser hair reduction or do not go for a laser hair reduction is absolutely your choice. My conversations are no way trying to sell you an aesthetic treatment because an, an aesthetic treatment is absolutely optional. It's aspirational. You need to choose it only if you want it. I just want to make sure that I am sharing information so that people are crystal clear whether they take a yes decision or a no decision. I want them to take the decision from a place of crystal clarity so that they know what they are doing, they know why they are doing it and they are so happy to do it. Now another question is, does the hair grow back even after you have completed the sessions of laser hair reduction? The, the treatment, if you would have heard me throughout these last 20 minutes that I have been speaking to you, I say laser hair reduction. The word I use is not removal because this is a reduction treatment which means the hair becomes very very small. It becomes vellus hair. It's not visible to the naked eye but if you put a microscope on it, it is still going to be visible. So you must know that in case the hormonal levels in your body go haywire, the hormonal levels in your body fluctuate. If you put on a lot of weight, you develop something called a central obesity which means your belly fat increases. Now increase in belly fat again is going to make you hormonally imbalanced. So hormonal imbalance can cause regrowth of hair especially in the facial areas. Generally the body hair never ever goes, grows back but then the facial area or hirsutism hair sometimes can grow back if your hormonal levels go haywire but there's nothing to worry. In very very few people the hair grows back. Yes, you have to be responsible about the wellness. We always speak, speak about being healthy on the inside, being awesome on the inside. So beauty on the outside is always and always a byproduct of health on the inside. So even in a laser hair reduction, you need to ensure that you keep your body in a healthiest possible state and I or any other doctor will help you make the right choices even as a lifestyle decision because every aesthetic doctor knows that unless we are keeping you healthy on the inside, you are never going to get long-lasting beauty. So holistic approach 
fortunately is what most of the aesthetic experts are going for today and most of the clients who are ambitious proactive understand this approach so most of my clients are super happy with their laser hair reduction treatment and never come back even for touch up sessions but just in case you're hormonally imbalanced and you need extra sessions or touch up sessions it is still worth it it is still super worth it because you're going to get long periods of hair free zone you may need three or four extra sessions which may cost you three or four thousand rupees which is nothing but imagine the amount of time imagine the amount of embarrassment imagine the amount of inconvenience that it is saving for you so even if you have a polycystic ovarian syndrome or a polycystic ovarian disease and you have heard that people with polycystic ovarian syndrome or pcod do not get great results in lasers it takes them many more sessions than normal people to get result in lasers let that not put you in inaction think about this even if you're going to need some extra sessions even then it's absolutely worth it because it is going to free you from the repeated visiting the salon repeated visiting the parlor and feeling embarrassed every time you see unwanted facial hair so even if a regular person needs eight sessions a person with a polycystic ovarian syndrome may need 12 sessions worst case scenario the person may need 15 sessions but even then it's a great boon so rather than thinking i am going to need 15 sessions instead of eight sessions so what you are also going to get freedom you are also not going to be stuck and you don't have to blame somebody or something for having this inconvenience in your life you only have to take a different action from what a non polycystic ovarian syndrome person will be taking which is absolutely fine we all have to take action according to our constituency our body composition we all have to take action according to how we have kept our body healthy or not healthy but laser hair reduction is going to definitely work for each and every person yes it may work slightly differently for different people now how does the session work every time you take a laser session you will require a total of 8 sessions sometimes you may even require 12 sessions if you have very fine hair if you are very dark complexion or you are hormonally imbalanced so we need to know that in medicine there is no one size fits all everybody has a different response like we know if four of us go for an exercise regime four of us eat the same food for the next 30 days we are going to get different responses depending on how our body responds to the diet and exercise similarly even in a laser hair reduction you will get different responses but then of course we can have a range we can have a general scientific understanding so you will require anywhere from 8 to 12 sessions in very very rare cases 15 sessions also every time you go for a laser hair reduction session you will see some of the hair die completely so if you mark an area and see after 15 days or one month after your laser hair reduction session you'll see fewer hair in that area you'll see thinner hair in that area and you will see that the rate of hair growth is much much lesser so imagine in 3 to 4 laser session you are free of the embarrassment of seeing very very dark hair which is visible from a distance and which causes embarrassment i hope i could answer most of your questions here in this session any more questions that come to your mind just a gentle reminder that i'm eager to answer your questions i'm eager to fully empower you empower you to take a yes action or a no action that's absolutely your choice and i respect whatever decision you take but my purpose is to give you all the information you need to take a decision that's right for you thank you so much for being a part of my instagram live all the wonderful comments that have been coming up all the wonderful thumbs up that have been coming up and most important all the questions that you write to me which shows that you trust that i can add value to you on thursday i go live on facebook and since it is summer we will be talking about pimples we will be talking about causes of pimples we will be talking about how retinol works in pimples so we'll have an entire understanding of how 
anybody at any age even if they choose not to step out of home anywhere in the world they live i am going to make sure that in the month of march i definitely share some golden nuggets i definitely share some secrets from my experience that will help you keep your skin less oily and keep your pimples under control is that amazing tell your friends who are struggling with blackheads whiteheads open pores pimples oil because this summer you're going to be really complaining but we can help them complain a little less and be a little more free from pimples just by attending these instagram live sessions and understanding the best practices worldwide and they will be empowered to use them in their day to day regime and make the best of this knowledge so good night to each one of you and thank you very much for being so supportive